here we have a article from a newspaper. This is back from 2004. And this was written by James Turpin, David Turpin's father. This is a very political article. Uh, it's about, I don't know, conservatives in the White House. Have you guys noticed I don't get political on this channel and I don't get into religion? Two things that I do not want to cover is politics and religion, but I know those are big issues that maybe are important to this case. But I like to look at the bigger picture. I like to see things outside of the box. And what I'm seeing in this is who does this guy think he is publishing an article on his opinion as if it mattered? Who is he? Is he a public figure? Does he have a leadership role? Does he have some sort of congregation that he leads? Is he a leader of a group or who is this guy? Why do we want to know what he thinks and feels? I mean, I'm saying this without knowing or having any idea of what they do for a living. What did he do for a living? Who is he? Someone tell me. Is he a pastor? Is he a church leader? Is he a politician? Is he some sort of public figure? That's what I want to know. Why does he write this article on his political beliefs, talk about God, talk about his religion, talk about everything to the local town? He must have been influential. He must have thought that his opinion had value and that maybe he can persuade someone to think the way he thinks. He must have think that he had some validity to just write this article. And that's my question in this video. Who does he think he is? Or really, who was he? That's what I want to know. Who were David Turpin's parents? They seem like nice folks, honestly. I just don't know who they were. And again, like I've said on my other videos about newspaper articles, this is all news to me because I don't come from a small town. I never have. And so I just don't get it. To me, when you write an article, you have to be an influencer. You have to be, it has to be your job. You're either a reporter or you're being interviewed. He's not being interviewed. He's just voicing his own babble, whatever he wants to write, and it gets published. So he's got to have a leadership role, and that's what I'm asking. Who is this guy?